Hey guys and welcome back here in German Reacts. My name is Leroy and today we're taking a look on Odd Od IT's again. Yeah, last time this was really, really cool and this time we're gotta, gonna do the second part of that. They, those were really hilarious and I hope the second part is as good as the first one. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's hop into the video now. Kind of a laid back guy, but I'm, Alex Rios is probably bubbling over with excitement to get that opportunity. Odor has that come up about stuff. What was that jump? Stretching his pants. Went right in his shirt. Ah, okay. It took one hop, it took one <laughs> hop and went right in his shirt. I thought he got it stuck under his belt. Oh, man, I've never seen that happen. He used his chest to block the ball, and the ball spun right in his shirt. He went to throw it, and it wasn't there. <laughs> well, that's one you don't see every day. <laughs> that <Another> jump. <laughs> Took one for the team, blocked the ball. Is this a catch? <laughs> you know, now, if Let me know down below, is this a catch? I mean, obviously he has control, but not with his hands. Then he strikes out Caesar. Molina trying to find the ball. And it's connected to his chest protector. I have never seen that. How about that? Watch, Molina taking the mask off. Caesar doing <laughs> what he can. Molina Where's has the ball? the ball in his chest protector. My gosh. You come to the ballpark, you're going to see something you've <laughs> never seen. That'll be played forever. That's how it buses. Oh. All right. I'll let my partner describe this. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there, the commentator. Not much will make Tim Linscombe smile in the course of a game. This is a two runs, but this pitch might. Whoop. He didn't even know where it went. And it almost came back and hit him on the head. I mean, it almost rolled over for a strike. I mean, that is one of the bigger curveballs I've ever seen. <laughs> Bourne goes from second. The th oh, oh, the throw hits Lee and goes all the way out to Teixeira. But he's obviously didn't get Lee's body. It probably got Lee's back. And now they're going to ask for interference. Well, this is a tough call. I mean, this is a call, uh, the umpire. I mean, the batter has every right to be where he is as long as he does not intentionally interfere. Man, this guy has, like, these shoulders. See, he didn't move, didn't go out of the way. And, you know, the lucky thing in, uh, for Jorge right there is his hand didn't hit that bat or a finger. He got rid of the ball. Every single day you see something in this game, Michael, you haven't seen it. I don't know that I've ever seen a foul ball. Russell Hart's thinking the same thing. Look at this. Ball's dead. Dead ball. The ball actually hit shoes bat as Mark. Same stuff. Back to the pitcher. They throw it against the against the bat. But what's the, the batter is supposed to do here? He cannot move. <laughs> He's just standing still. Dude. Ah, these are protectors, well, okay. That shoe crossed over the plate. No, Man, the umpires are looking ready like balls. They've got shoulders like... Holy this. shit. He's getting himself ready to hit. And that's just a throwback and a hit the bat. That's, that's not Chu's fault. That is not in the That's his... He, the same motion he does that every at bat. Splinters away. And he breaks another bat. How about that one? Big cut. So two pitches and the bat selection becomes a, a little more difficult to select from. Nah. And a broken bat base head into left field. Here comes Joyce. He will score the go ahead run. Grossman's toss back toward third, and the pinch hitter Sands comes through with a big base hit to give the Rays a four to three lead. Well, he broke three bats in that at bat, and that's the one that counted. <laughs> and the roof, it is pouring outside, and the roof is leaking right over the mound. And it's on his hat. You can see the raindrops coming off the bill of his cap there. 
And it's coming down pretty good. We are told it is absolutely <laughs> pouring outside. And it's raining inside. But that tells you just how hard it's raining outside here. Ah, uh, there's the roof on top and it's going the through the roof. Pouring rain outside the ballpark here in downtown Phoenix. Raining inside Chase Fields. Grant Trenbeth and his crew out there working on the mound between innings. There's a small lake forming behind home plate. Uh, right in front of our batter's box suite. Arnie Delight at third. The 2-0. Bolina hits it out to deep left field. That ball is sinking. It will be a play at the plate. And save! 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 I believe, though, that could be a ground rule double. I'm not sure. We have to wait and save. Oh, there comes the water. Brian Price is looking for the umpires. He is going back underneath the stands to find the umpires. They looked over to him. I wonder if he ran out of time. They left the field. They looked over. There was no indication. From if that vantage point, it looks to be a ground rule double. The Reds haven't left the field. The Cardinals have already celebrated. Brian Price came out of the dugout after conferring with some of his people and looked out and was surprised that he could not find an umpire to talk to. And he put his arms out. Where are they? And then he started chasing him back down the tunnel where the umpire's dressing room is. This is bizarre, Danny. <laughs> they have told the crowd here at Bush Stadium the game is over. That has been announced. They've announced that to the crowd. They're headed to the exits. What is with his nails? He's the self-proclaimed best player of his generation. Do I get it right? They don't want him to hit the ball. That's why they're giving they're giving him three balls and are sending him to the first base oh, or four balls. I'm not sure if it was three or four, but that's what they're doing, right? Intentional walks here. Nine intentional walks, but this is the ultimate intentional walk with the bases loaded. Barry Bonds walks to drive. To be honest, I cannot understand that this is allowed. This is something I don't know. It's the old Buck Showalter play. It's all the way back to the screen, and they're trying to make, were they trying to bait him home from third? Did he do that on purpose? I don't think so. Uh, wow, this is something. They're walking Hamilton with the bases loaded. Yeah, uh, Joe Madden is saying here, the, the one thing that can kill me right now is a home run. And Josh Hamilton has hit 28 of them, and Marlon Bird has hit eight of them. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play the percentages. The thing is, Marlon Bird's hitting close to 300, and now all he has to do is shoot one in the gap, and with Josh at first base, he's going to score. Man, this seems to be something that happens more than one time. They are intentionally walking them to the first base to avoid a home run. To be honest, this is some kind of cheating, to be honest. To Brent Maine. White sleeve, yeah. Uh, white sleeve. He's going to have to probably change his shirt. It's mm -hmm. going to get annoying if you keep sliding down on him. <laughs> this is something happening in soccer all the time. It doesn't look really comfortable. Even though I'm not playing as a professional, I always have to have a shirt that has the same color than my sh uh, my my tee. Crazy start. No. Two guys thrown out at third. 
you had a disputed home run that became foul. Manager got kicked out three pitches into the game. Well, that's sad for the now. For the shirt. We're, we're, we're doing the Chris Sale bit. Yeah, and if the uh, yeah, if the last thing on your baseball bingo card was pitcher had sleeves cut off on the mound, then you're yelling bingo. Careful, PJ. Nice job. Put them on eBay, sell them a souvenir. And one thing they uh, may have forgotten during all the work, they're going to put the chalk lines back in. They got all the gear for the chalk lines, but McAllister's warming up and he doesn't want to let the ground screw get in there and do their work. After you see one at bat, we're going to define the batter's box. But, uh, here we are. Gonna redo them. We'll get fresh chalk down there. This grounds crew works hard. They have had to work hard lately. Certainly. All season. All season. We have, with all this rain, we have not lost a ball game. Nope. Of to, to rain. Or, or rain, rain it's incredible. Yep. Well, gone are the days where they have a, the roller. Yeah. And the. Uh, the That's cool to see. For the grass places of soccer, they always use like a little cart, which they are done. rolling. Done prior to the game. But for the 90 degree angles here, it would be hard. So, wow. Kind of hovering Beam. underneath oh, that oh, overhang oh. there at the 413 mark in right center and left center. And as you can see, AJ Pollock uh, kind of looking behind him a lot, checking out the swarm of bees that may or may not be a factor here as we start this ball. No, the only one it's bee. Real quiet at some point this afternoon. You'll know the bees have made their way up here to the press box, and I'm getting out of here. What's that buzzing? You hear a buzzing? There, there they are. That's a good shot of them right there. You can see the swarm of bees. There's a lot of them. They were over by the giant bullpen Ooh. earlier. Now they're making their way out into the sunshine. And on the DL, his 15th season in the big leagues at the age of 37. Right to the bees. A.J. Pollock backing up. He's got it on the track. And he is getting out of there in a hurry. Yep. <laughs> Swatting the bees away as he catches the baseball. One out. Now that's focus and concentration right yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Right and this guy is steel balls <laughs> going into a swarm of bees ball. without I mean, any hesitation. The first ball is hit right into the swarm. <laughs> <laughs> Near the batter's eye, and there's actually a, a bee keeper as well from Sexton Pest Control. And this is really kind of where they're starting to congregate. There he is. Sexton Pest Control, nice job. <laughs> Got him right out here. Chase Field has become a beehive of activity out here. We've actually found out where they're congregating and why there is a queen bee in the middle of all that fray. And so they're waiting yeah, for Louie to come back. Out. He's from Man, Sexton that's like Pest a Control. So they want to get all the bees together and then they'll try to spray them. A lot of games are delayed for a lot of reasons. I don't think I've ever seen a game delayed by bees. That's B E E S. <laughs> Not in the back nice either, shot. but on the camera. They have swarmed right on the screen behind home plate where the uh, Robo camera, the remote operated, is located. And uh, you can see how many of them are there. What they are they came looking for? A look at that. Probably trying to find a beekeeper to come and uh, get those bees off there. Doesn't pose an immediate danger. Mm -hmm. Because it is up on the screen about a quarter of the way up, and it is behind home plate, not near the fans. And it's but crowded. It's a pretty good uh, congregation of some honeymakers right there. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm sure uh, Hank Conger and uh, Matt Leader are doing their respective They don't care. They're say, hey, throw some ground balls. There's no pop ups behind home plate. Something's going on out here in uh, left field. Left fielder Mike Carp is looking out towards the wall. And he's brought to second base umpire Sean Camp with him. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on out that way. Anybody know on? the number of an exterminator, real quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there they are. Another one. Another question is how do we get them out of here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure, get in the catcher's equipment bag. That would be great. Somebody's glove is really a. Uh, Coming like a beehive. Yeah, there's the spray. Is this going to work? Spray. <laughs> That's just going to get them angry. Not only is it, it's not only getting them angry. I mean, that's like nothing against all of them. You know what? That, that's he drew the short straw. He's, he's, he's a, yeah, he's a braver man than I am. 
Sheriff's got money. money. Yeah. <laughs> Man, to be honest, this is a good clip to stop. The video is already 15 minutes and a bit, a bit long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I like these odd ITs. They are ties. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. They are really funny. We had like the, the strict side, we had the funny side, but this is also the hilarious side, right? Man, this is really cool. I hope we can do a third part here as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like. As always, subscribe if you're new and see you guys for the next video. Peace.